a brand new episode of The Simple Life. You know what I'm saying? Just simple. It's simple. There's goats, there's seeds, there's food, roosters, sleeping, and other stuff that you find on in the simple light you know what it doesn't matter does it matter if you guys do enjoy the video do me a huge favor hit that like button hit it like it's going out of style i'd really appreciate it uh and also don't forget guys to drop me a comment follow me on instagram tomorrow i'm going to a dog race no i or today actually it'll be today no today tomorrow i don't know i'm going to a dog race guys and i'm gonna do some stuff on instagram with a dog race never been to a dog race i'm not talking about greyhounds apparently it's like chihuahuas and like uh uh, and like uh, pit bulls and they all race together. It's, it should be cool, I think. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be, you know what? Let's just roll script. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the show. So what I wanted to show you is nothing. Oh, I built a well. I, I don't know if this is like something cool or not, but I built a well. I, it's for swimming and for uh, taking baths because baths make you feel better. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're good. Okay, I'm trying to think of anything else I needed to show. Oh, dudes, I so I'm under the influence, guys. Not of alcohol, not of alcohol, but I'm under the influence that uh, that there's no iron. Uh, there's more iron under a mountain than under this. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. So I started digging this giant hole, guys, and I got tons of resources from this. Uh, it's just like a little mine shaft. I don't I like. I, you know, I just think it's gonna help us. It's gonna be good, guys. It's gonna be good. I totally forgot about this. So I built this mine, right? And then I hit this uh, this area over here, and I stopped. And the reason I stopped was I didn't have any torches. Uh, I went to get torches, and I didn't get torches. It's a it's a long, complicated story. But basically, this is pretty cool over here, dudes. Uh, it's our first mine that we found. Uh, I think. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, dudes, dudes, dudes. It's a mob spawner. It's it's a mob spawner. Or you can or, or, or dude, 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 dude. This is great. This is baller. This now this is what we wanted to other uh, babies. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Well, I was almost killed by baby zombies, but uh it looks like we're gonna live. Got him, y'all like that? Look at that, got him. I trapped him in there. We're fine. Okay. Dude, I was I could destroy this baby zombie spawner, but I actually dude, we should use this. We could we could absolutely make some we can make a mob spawner out of this, dudes. We could farm baby zombies. We'll check it out later. We'll check it out later. Alright. I'm out of torches anyway, so this is as far as I can go. But dude, I'm really excited we found a mob spawner. That's tight. So, I haven't found the materials to make a really good pickaxe yet, but I want to make the thing in the book that we found the other day. It's like uh, a light, and it looks really cool, dude. Like, this thing looks amazing. It's, uh, it'll apparently keep mobs from spawning from, like, 32 blocks away, but unfortunately, we need a blaze rod to, to uh, to be able to make it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some crazy stuff, dudes. I'm actually gonna make a, a portal to the nether without... Without a pickaxe to mine the obsidian, dude. It's gonna be tight. Trust me. You guys are gonna be like, dang, that was cool. That was cool. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna run over here. We're gonna go to sleep. Uh, and when it gets daylight, guys, we're gonna we're gonna make this thing. It's gonna be great. You guys do trust me. It's gonna be cool. You guys are gonna be like, whoa, dude, that's crazy. Okay, so what we gotta do to make this, guys, is we're gonna be using up pretty much our entire supply of lava that we have, but it should work. So all we're gonna do is I'm gonna build the two blocks on the bottom. Boom, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a spot to hold the lava for the next part, which should go here. Good. All right, and then of course we can break this. Okay, so here we go, and boom, and then water, and boom. Okay, now we need to go up one more block, so might as well just keep going with it at this point, and boom. Dude, I feel like I'm building concrete. If you guys don't know, this is how they do concrete in, like, the real world, dude. It's, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about, oh, uh, well, that was cool. It kind of, like, ate my water, but whatever. Okay, I think this is the final block we need to place. I need to double check, though, guys, because if we don't double check, we could, uh, accidentally build it too big and it won't open. So, let's see. So, that's one, two, three high is where we want it. So, now we need to put a block here and we're gonna need to put a block here Ac oh actually we forgot to come up one on this one so there we go okay so with this complete guys this should be able we should be able to build the this this should light up is what I'm saying we should have no problem lighting this up and it 
producing a a a portal to the nether i think i hope i built it right and there you go guys building a nether portal without being able to mine uh, obsidian it's freaking baller what can i say i'm here to make things happen all right i'm gonna go make a flint and steel we're gonna wait for daylight and for the rain to clear up so that i ain't gonna be fighting creepers and stuff so brb so i'm pretty sure we have everything we need guys i got a sword and what i'm kind of hoping for here just so you guys know is like we go in and there's another fortress like right there that is like optimal guys like if we go in and there's another fortress we pretty much gonna it's gonna be great i don't want to like spend a lot of time in the nether as you guys may or may not know i hate the nether it's stupid um, okay, it might be stupid, guys, but that is a random blaze, uh, actually, and you guys know, all we needed was a blaze rod, that is a rogue blaze right here, he's not at a, uh, ender, uh, ender thing, he is literally just right here in the nether, which is fine by me, I'm probably gonna die to it, but I don't care, uh, apparently I'm standing in fire, though, so that sucks, okay, well, um, that kind of sucks because he didn't drop anything at all uh so found a random blaze didn't get uh wait i wonder if it's because i put water down dude do you think putting water down in the nether spawns a blaze hold on is it dude is this a thing i i was trying to think i was like dude what the heck is this wait if i put water in the end or in the nether does it make a blaze dude there's no way this is a thing there's no way Oh my god! Bl dude, is it because of what I'm doing? Or is it because, like, they're just spawning around here, dude? Does any- What the heck is going on? Why is there blazes spawning here? Dude! What the heck? Okay, so I put the- I put the water down, and a blaze appeared. Twice now. We're gonna try it one more time, dude. It's because I don't know. See, he just spawned over there, though. I wonder if it's, like, in the area or something. Like, or maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. Some people have called me crazy. I could, maybe I'm just nuts. Maybe I'm nuts. It could be a thing. Okay, here we go, guys. Attempt number... Attempt two. Boom. Water down. No blaze. Unless he's up there. There's a blaze! I'm telling you, dudes, they're spawning because we're putting water down. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But am I... Dude, you guys see this, right? No blaze. There's no blazes here right now. There's no blaze. We're just chilling. We're chilling in the nether. No blazes anywhere to be found. Nowhere. Okay. You know what? Last one, dude. Last one. No blazes spawned now. Look, no blazes spawned anywhere. All right. Here we go. Just just cuz. Boop. There we go. Water's down. All right, the wa I placed the water down. I don't see a blaze this time. Like I said, though, he could be up there, so I could look up there, I guess. I don't know. I don't see a blaze. Uh, maybe maybe it's, like, uh, based on, like, he could be under us or something. I don't know, dude. Okay, so every time I did it, a blaze spawned, except for the last time. But, I mean, we only needed it that time, so I'm, I'm good with this. I'm good with it. By the way, guys, our little village is, like, starting to look boss, man. It's starting to look good, man. That's all I gotta say. It's starting to look, except for that freaking thing over there. That's ugly. And voila, there we go. Um, no idea what this looks like, guys. So, oh, and we completed a quest. I forgot we completed a quest. Oh, dude, we got two. Oh, my God. Dude, we got two lights from completing that. That's all. I didn't even realize what the quest reward was. That's freaking amazing. What do we got here? Something... Pungy sticks! Next thing we're doing is pungy sticks. Alright, so where are we going to put this? I'm thinking we put it right here. Okay. And this will prevent mobs from spawning in 32 by 32. So 32 that way, 32 that way. So I'm going to put these by all of our farms, guys. So I put one right there. So now I'm going to go put one in the middle of our orchard. So like... Right there. And then I'm going to hold on to this one, guys, and we're going to put it over there by these two things. I, I can make two of these, by the way. I can make another one if I have to. Actually, I'm just going to hold on to this one, uh, wait for nighttime and see where mobs spawn, and we'll put it where it's needed, dude. So this is cool, dude. These will keep mobs from spawning. No more uh, skeleton attacks. No more no more zombies or zambonis. Uh, we're, just, we're just chilling now, dude. We are baller statting this. Okay, so what we need to do now is punji sticks. These shouldn't be hard to make, I don't think. Dude, oh my god, all it takes is sugar cane. 
Oh my god, dude, all it takes is sugar cane. This is freaking amazing. Dude, we are dead. This, dude, because I was growing this to make paper, but the, the, the pattern is different. The pattern is different. By the way, I'm probably dropping these and not picking some of them up, guys. I'm not really worried about it. Like, if we lose some, it's just part of the growing crops. It'll make the next harvest come in faster. Boom. Pungy sticking it up. There we go. Pungy stick. Claim reward. Baller. Got it, dude. That's freaking awesome. We completed the whole chain. All right, what is this, though? What is this? Woot farming. We need to make a woot manual. I wonder how you make a woot manual, though. Dude, we are, dude, we are tearing this up. Woot manual. A cr uh, any head plus a book? Okay, I mean, that's, these are pretty easy to do, so. Okay, so I couldn't find the books, guys, so I just made one. Wanted to show you guys the pattern for the book is the same. Uh, it's just the paper that's different, so uh, we got our book now. What we have to do is we take the book and the head and then we have a woot manual boom and that should have turned that in and claim that reward and we got a chocolate donut cool so i don't know what this is woot, the alternative mob spawner grinder guy welcome to the user interface for your new mob factory the safe easy and clean way to murder your favorite mobs for the goodies never again will you have to mess around with spawning killing and cleaning up behind all those mobs you can also expand your mob factory with handy upgrades so sit back relax as you pursue this handy manual to learn how to build program and say, okay, you will need to base. Okay. So this is just uh, pretty much a basic thing. Just telling us how it works, dude. So, okay. That not bad, not bad. Um, and now we have all these that just opened up. So pretty much all pretty easy stuff. I don't see anything too hard. Uh, we'll work on that next episode, guys. Actually, we'll probably just wrap it up here. Uh, we did take down a lot of things. I'm really happy with the progress that we made. Uh, if you guys think that the, the world needs anything, maybe a barn. Oh, that's what it needs, dude. It needs a barn. Also, if anybody can tell me why these aren't breeding, that would be great. I fed them. It said that they had hearts, but they didn't breed. There's a ram and a you, And they're, 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 they're like their mates they're, they're they should work i don't understand why they're not working but they don't watch i'll feed him a carrot okay and then we feed that one a carrot and they don't mate they just stand there looking at each other is there, are they like are they like uh what's wrong with them like do i need to like kill them like somebody somebody just you know what anybody that has any info i'd really appreciate it anyway dudes thank you so much for watching you guys have been the best fans in the world dudes i got some brand new stuff like i said i'm going to a dog race tomorrow so hopefully you guys like that i'm gonna i'm gonna try to like shoot some footage and uh it'll be cool anyway thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on the next episode of the simple life actually i'll see you on meat castle tomorrow yeah buddy see you guys later